Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome for the topic of today. Uh, this topic would be about arterial blood gases, and the main goal of this mini lecture is to be able to interpret the arterial blood gases just by a quick glance at the results. So let us start now. The first slide would be about normal blood gases. The pH, the normal pH is 7.35 to 7.45. And anything less than 7.35, then this would be acidosis. And anything more than 7.45 would be alkalosis. And it's important here at this junction to mention that the average value is 7.4. And this is very helpful in case of compensated acidosis or alkalosis. Because in case of compensated acidosis, then it will not exceed 7.4. It would be less than 7.4, that is 7.35 up to 7.4. And in case of alkalosis, compensated alkalosis, it would be more than 7.4, but of course less than 7.45 and both these values would be normal within the normal range in case of fully compensated. So what about the carbon dioxide? The normal is 35 to 45 mmHg and if it's less than 35 then this is respiratory alkalosis and if more than 45 this is respiratory acidosis. What about the normal bicarb? The normal bicarb usually 22 to 26 millimol per liter. If less than 22, then this is acidosis. And if more than 26, then this is metabolic alkalosis. So what about the word uncompensated? In case of uncompensated acidosis, the pH would be low, less than 7.35. And it depends on whether it's respiratory, then the carbon dioxide would be more than 45 and if it's metabolic then the bicarb would be less than 20 and in both occasions since it's uncompensated the third parameter would be normal like in metabolic acidosis the bicarb would be normal in respiratory acidosis the bicarb would be normal and in meta metabolic acidosis the bicarb would be low while the carbon dioxide would be normal. So what about if in compensated alkalosis? In cases of alkalosis, the pH would be high. That's to say more than 7.45. And that's why it's alkalotic. And then you look at the PaCO2. If it's less than 35, then this is mainly respiratory alkalosis. And since it's uncompensated, the bicarb would be normal. And if it's metabolic alkalosis, then the bicarb would be more than 26. And in case of uncompensated, the, P, the PaCO2 would be normal. So what about the fully compensated? In fully compensated acidosis, the pH would be more than 7.35 and 7.35 or more. But usually it doesn't exceed 7.40. And if it's respiratory, then the main problem would be the PaCO2. And this would be high. And you would find the bicarb also is high. In metabolic acidosis, the pH is still, if it's compensated, still it's going to be between 7.35 to 7.4. And the bicarb is the main goal here, the main problem. So it would be low. And if there is compensation, then the PaCO2 would be low also. Because carbon dioxide needs to be washed out to compensate for the acidosis. So what about the compensated alkalosis? In case of compensated alkalosis, the pH would exceed 7.4. Of course, it's still within the normal, so it doesn't exceed 7.45. And if it's respiratory, then the PaCO2 would be low. And of course, the bicarb also follows to be low because he's trying to cause acidemia. The bicarb is trying to be washed out so that there would be acidemia to compensate for the alkalosis. In case of metabolic, the main thing would be the bicarb, which is going to be high. 
metabolic alkalosis, then the PaCO2 would be also high to create respiratory acidosis to compensate for the alkalosis. So if you observe in case of fully compensated, you are going to find both are either high or both are low. So impartially, what makes it partially or fully compensated would be the pH value. If the pH value is still not within normal, that's the first slide we have mentioned the normal is between 7.35 to 7.45. So if it's exceeding the normal or below the normal, then there is a problem and this would be partially compensated. And you find both are high or both low according to the initial problem, but then this would be partially compensated because it's still it's not within the normal. So in case of partially compensated and fully compensated, the parameters go together, either up together or low together. If you find what's going to happen if you find one parameter that's PaCO2 is going up and the carbon dioxide is going down, this is called mixed uh, acid base disturbance. So this is the partially compensated. We said still the pH is either acidic or alkalotic. So let us look at this. Uh, MCQs. I would like you here at this junction to know that it's very important to look at the scenario and make up your mind before even looking at the figures. So like in this one, what's the interpretation of the falling arterial blood gases from a diabetic patient with epigastric pain? So we know that any diabetic patient with, with epigastric pain, we have to rule out diabetic ketoacidosis. So we are going to look for a low pH and low bicarb. So here we are, the pH is 7.32, the, uh, the PaCO2 is 41, and that's normal because it's normal. The normal range is 35 to 45. What about the bicarb? It's on the lower side. So this is uncompensated metabolic acidosis. And this one here, this lady is vomiting. So, in, vom in a vomiting patient, because he's vomiting hi hydrochloric acid, we would be expecting the patient to have alkalosis. So, the pH is 7.45, and it should be metabolic alkalosis. So, what about the bicarb? Bicarb would be high, more than 26. And here in this patient, it's 30. What about the PaCO2? This is 40. So, this is normal. This is uncompensated metabolic alkalosis. So let us do this one quickly now. The pH is 7.30, the PaCO2 is high, the bicarb is high. So both are high, we said this is partially compensated because the pH is still not within normal. So this is partially compensated respiratory acidosis. What about this one? The pH is 7.5, so there is alkalosis. PaCO2 is high and bicarb is high. The alkalosis, we know that's caused by the high bicarb. So here, the PaCO2 is also rising up to compensate. So this is partially compensated metabolic alkalosis. What about this one? The pH is 7.37. This is normal. The PaCO2 is high and the bicarb is 35. And this is much more towards the acidemia, acidic side because it's less than 7.4. So this is, the basic problem was respiratory acidosis. So this is fully compensated respiratory acidosis. By this we come to the end of our topic and I hope you made use of this. Please, I need your comments if you are satisfied, if there's any more topics that I should introduce, if any more complicated problems we have to discuss and so forth.